I've been around the block. No, not just around the block, but around the world. I've seen some things, dodged a few metaphorical and sometimes literal bullets. So today, I'm here to do my civic duty, dear viewer, and warn you about the real dangers lurking in a place that may seem like a paradise but has its own set of hazards. That place? The Philippines. You may know the Philippines as the Pearl of the Orient, where the sun always shines, the drinks flow endlessly, and the beaches look like they've been photoshopped by an Instagram addict. But beyond those dreamy tourist ads with perfect waves, smiling locals, and sunsets that belong in romantic comedies lies a whole different reality, one that could change your life forever. If you survive, of course. So strap in, because we're diving into the top 10 hidden dangers of the Philippines that'll make you think twice before booking that flight. And trust me, you're gonna wanna watch until the end because it's about to get real. One, the smile trap. This one's sneaky. You won't notice it at first, but after a few days in the Philippines, you'll start to feel it. A tightness around your mouth, a strain in your cheeks, it's the friendliness. The locals smile at you, and before you know it, you're smiling back, trapped in an endless cycle of grinning like an idiot. Now don't get me wrong, you're probably a friendly person, but there's only so much smiling a human face can endure. After a while, it becomes a full-blown facial workout. It's like a contagious virus. And soon, you'll be walking around with a permanent Joker-esque smile. 2. Whiplash from Stunning Women Let's talk about the ladies. The Philippines is home to some of the most beautiful women you'll ever see. But it's not just their looks. It's the combination of beauty and tradition that'll stop you in your tracks. And when I say stop you, I mean you'll literally pull a muscle trying to turn your head fast enough to catch a glimpse of the next one. It's relentless. You'll find yourself contemplating hiring a full-time chiropractor just to make it through your day. These women have the kind of charm that'll make you reevaluate your whole existence. If you're not careful, you'll end up with a permanent neck brace, wondering what just happened. 3. The Cost of Living Trap Let's talk money. The Philippines is cheap, dangerously cheap. You'll find yourself living like royalty for the price of a sandwich back home. Top shelf cocktails? They cost about as much as parking fees in the States. And rent? It's laughable. But here's the catch. What do you do with all that extra cash? Do you invest it? Buy more cocktails? Or finally learn what an index fund is? The possibilities are endless, and the existential crisis is real. You might just find yourself overwhelmed by all that newfound financial freedom. 4. The Illusion of Safety Now, here's a real issue. The Philippines is so safe that it becomes dangerous. That sense of security? It's a trap. You'll find yourself walking around without a care in the world, letting your guard down. It's not like the States, where every dark alley feels like a scene from a crime thriller. But the problem with feeling too safe is that you become complacent. You'll lose your edge. So, when you eventually return to places where danger lurks around every corner like the US, you'll be easy pickings for any street criminal. You've been warned? 5. English. Everywhere. You might think it's convenient that English is widely spoken in the Philippines, but where's the fun in that? The Philippines is one of the few countries where you won't have any communication barriers. Everyone speaks English. Your attempts at speaking Tagalog? They'll be met with polite smiles and responses in perfect English. If you were hoping for some good old-fashioned communication challenges to spice up your travel experience, you'll be sorely disappointed. It's like you never left home. And let's be honest, where's the adventure in that? 6. Too much sunshine. The weather in the Philippines? Perfect. Every day. But that's a problem. You'll get too comfortable. No rain-soaked jackets, no wind-chapped lips. Just endless sun and warmth. You'll forget what it's like to suffer through a cold breeze or a snowstorm. Sure, there's the occasional monsoon, but those are brief intermissions before the sunshine returns to lull you back into your state of relaxation. Before long, you'll be walking around in flip-flops year-round, forgetting that the rest of the world is dealing with actual seasons. Too much comfort is dangerous. 7. The BGC Walking Trap In Bonifacio Global City, BGC, everything is within walking distance. You can get anywhere you need to go in just 15 minutes by foot. That's right, walking. When was the last time you walked anywhere? You used to drive everywhere, didn't you? But now, in BGC, you'll start walking around like some kind of urban adventurer. And before long, you'll forget how to drive. The next time you rent a car, you'll be that person holding up traffic, struggling to parallel park while the locals zip around on motorbikes like they're performing a ballet. Trust me, losing your driving skills is no joke. 8. The Beach Overload 
The Philippines has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. But here's the problem. There are too many of them. Way too many. You'll be paralyzed by choice. Do you go to Palawan with its crystal clear waters? Boracay with its powdery white sand? Or maybe Siargao, the surfer's paradise? The options are overwhelming, and you'll spend hours researching, only to end up at some random beach you picked last minute in a fit of panic. The stress of choosing the perfect beach will haunt you, leaving you in a constant state of indecision. 9. Non-stop nightlife. In most places, the nightlife dies down around 2 a.m., maybe 4 a.m., if you're in a big city. But in the Philippines, the party never stops, ever. It doesn't matter if it's a Wednesday night. You'll find bars, clubs, and karaoke sessions going strong until the sun comes up. At first, you'll think you'll just have one drink. But next thing you know, it's morning. Your wallet is empty, and you're trying to remember who challenged you to sing Total Eclipse of the Heart on a karaoke stage at 4 a.m. Spoiler alert, it was you. Lack of sleep catches up to you fast, and after a few sleepless nights, you'll start hallucinating that the bartender is a giant Lashan, roasted pig. 10. The biggest danger of all, never wanting to leave. And finally, the most dangerous hazard of all, the Philippines will sink its claws into you. You'll come for a vacation, maybe just a couple of weeks. But then you get used to the smiles, the warm air, the stunning beaches, and the lazy nights sipping cocktails at rooftop bars. Before you know it, two weeks turn into two months, and then you're Googling how to extend your visa because you just can't bring yourself to leave. Your friends back home will wonder what happened to you, but you'll have no explanation, except that you've fallen into a paradise trap. So, there you have it. The top 10 hidden dangers of the Philippines. Each one more terrifying than the last. Proceed with caution, or don't proceed at all, because once you set foot in this tropical paradise, you might never want to leave.